what's everyone? It's Steven here. And we have some Lego teases, news, and leaks. So first up, Lego is teasing a Marvel-related reveal at LegoCon. Lego officially released their new roller coaster with the two loops, and it looks pretty cool. Plus, the Walmart app has officially leaked the Obi-Wan Kenobi Lego set. So if you end up liking this video, consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing. But let's not waste any more time, and let's jump right in. So first up, Lego appears to be teasing the reveal of the Sanctum Sanctorum at LegoCon. As they posted this video that very obviously is referring to something Doctor Strange, and we know about the upcoming Sanctum Sanctorum set that is supposed to be coming out this fall, perhaps either in August or September. Additionally, a bunch of the figures appear to have leaked onto Instagram, including Doctor Strange, Wong, Black Maw, which I didn't really think make, which I still don't think really makes a lot of sense, Zombie Strange, and Spider Man. So we'll have to see if we have to wait until June 18th to actually get our first looks at the Sanctum Sanctorum, or if images of the actual set is going to leak early, much like the minifigures have. Either way, it won't be long until we get our first look at the Sanctum Sanctorum, and I'm pretty excited about it. Next up is the new Lego roller coaster, the Loop Coaster. And to be honest, I didn't think this would be something that would interest me, as most of the time, the roller coasters, the fairground sets, the Lego City sets, most of those just don't appeal to me. And I still don't know if I'll get this because it does come in as a hefty price. But the set to me is just pretty cool. So again, this is set 10303. It comes in at 3,756 pieces. Is going to retail for a whopping $400. And like I mentioned, is the Loop Coaster. An interesting thing to point out, and much like I said in my news video last week, this does come under the category of Lego icons on the Lego shop as they're moving away from the Lego Creator Expert series. But as far as the set, it comes with 11 figures, which for $400, I, if I was going to get this, I kind of wish it would come with even more figures than just 11. But the cool parts of it is it has this rotary crank in which you can lift the elevator. And then, of course, once the roller coaster gets started, it is pretty cool to see it do the back-to-back loop-to-loops. However, the Lego Shop page does say that the coaster can be upgraded with Lego powered up parts to get a motorized elevator, but that those powered up parts are sold separately, which again, sucks for a $400 set. You kind of wish those would be kind of built in. So I like it, it's pretty cool, but for $400, man, that's a lot of money, especially when the motorized components aren't included in the set. Spoiler warning. The last set is the Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Darth Vader set and is from the third episode of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. So again, if you haven't seen that episode, spoiler warning before we get into this set. Okay, so this is going to be Lego set 75334. Again, tentatively Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Darth Vader. It'll have 408 pieces release on August 1st. And Promo Bricks has the price as 49.99 euros, so it'll probably be around 50 bucks here in the US. And again, thanks to Walmart, we get our first glimpses of this set, and it is very reminiscent of that let's be honest, more or less kind of lackluster battle that happens at the end of that episode in which Darth Vader somewhat gets his revenge and drags Obi-Wan through some fire. And by the end of the episode, leaves him quite toasty. So it comes with four figures of Obi-Wan Kenobi, Darth Vader, Ned B, which I'm super excited about. And way back in my prediction video, I predicted we'd get a set with Ned B. And Tala Durith, the Imperial officer that's helping smuggle Obi-Wan Kenobi off planet. So looking at those figures, honestly, probably my first impression is, man, I really wish they had included a child Princess Leia to go with that. So we can see Obi-Wan Kenobi is in his outfit from that episode with his robe going over top and the kind of just plain peasant's tunic underneath. 
We have Darth Vader, and we even have a leaked image of Darth Vader's face without the helmet, which looks really good. And then Ned B with his dock hammer that you see him kind of gripping when the stormtroopers are searching the building. And then Tala is just in her Imperial uniform, which interestingly, she's not actually wearing during this scene, but she's wearing when we first meet her. And it's also what we saw her in during the trailer as well. So much like the early League promo bricks did that described all these sets, it does have the part with the little platform where they're having their lightsaber duel, which again, from the episode, is a little hard-pressed to actually call that a duel, as the series so far has inferred that Obi-Wan has essentially let most of his Jedi skills atrophy, essentially in an attempt to better hide himself, which I know a lot of people have very mixed feelings on that approach that they've taken. So essentially, this is almost kind of a diorama set of that sequence with a little bit of play features. It's mostly kind of a bland, gray build with a couple of translucent orange bricks to represent the fire. Overall, I'm a little bit mixed on how I feel about this set. I do like the figures with it. The build is a little bit on the boring side and doesn't really bring a lot to the table, in my opinion. The set honestly a little bit reminds me of the Dark Trooper attack set, but with the build feeling less. However, the price of this is way more than the Dark Trooper attack set, so I don't know. Like, It's hard for me to have a really strong, positive feeling on this, given that this set is 50 bucks and it looks like a, I don't know, not $50 set. So what are your thoughts? Are you excited for the reveal of the Sanctum Sanctorum set? What did you think of the Loop Coaster and the new Obi-Wan Kenobi set? Are you getting either one? Let me know down in the comments below. I can't wait to hear about it. And as always, thanks for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. I'll check you next time.